what are the location for cotton industry can they be effective solutions for development of backward regions of india of the country so pehle cotton industry ka uh, location factor kya hai okay i think this could be the first half of your page cotton industries these are neither weight gaining nor are they weight losing cotton industry ka matlab talking about largely weaving talking about the mill sectors we talking about the looms uh, yarn sector yarns they make the threads yarn sector cotton mills the hand loom loom sector looms as in your hand operated they are neither weight gaining nor are they weight losing baki factors kya hai they require energy they require cheap labor they require moist conditions they also require proximity to ports for the export market they need okay uh, transportation hubs railway stations require along the rivers wherever possible yes cotton industry by that sense may be considered as footloose so cotton industry around kanpur hai cotton industries around punjab hai otherwise punjab has not been the traditional cotton grower wo to baad mein aa gaya cotton around bengal bhi hai theek hai surat to fir bhi cotton belt mein hai theek hai so what are the locational factors for cotton industries so and you can always mention that the advantages essentially were in western india main centers now this is not the entire answer pehla part hai ye wala what are the location okay location uh, factors location centers dono bata dena because of these factors the following are the important regions the second part can they be effective solutions for development of backward regions of the country or not okay. now isme you can take some points here now say cotton industries jo hai वो कितने सेक्टर्स में ऑपरेट करती है जैसे कॉटन इंडस्ट्रीज आई एम लुकिंग एट द लार्जर स्कोप लार्जर स्कोप में देर इज अन इंडस्ट्री देर आर क्लॉथ मिल्स देन आई सेट देर आर लूम इंडस्ट्रीज इन डिफरेंस क्या है जो क्लॉथ मिल्स हैं, दीज आर वेरी लार्ज इंटीग्रेटेड इसमें सब कुछ होता है रॉ कॉटन से लाने तक यान मीन्स थ्रेड्स थ्रेड बनाने तक मेकिंग शीट्स and also okay you are developing the end products which is your uh, cotton cloth hi rakho weaving hi rakho isko starting from raw cotton to yarns to mills that includes cotton weaving uh, cotton looms looms kya hai they are not integrated they just take the cotton woven cloth and or yarns and they weave the patterns jo loom industries hain okay there can be hand looms and there can be power looms hand looms they operate at cottage sector they are village based they are rural based they are local artisan based okay iska old uh, skill history hai almost every part of india has some uh, loom ka history gujarat mein up mein odisha mein tamil nadu okay and cotton is fairly well spread there it is skill based skill based historical hai family hai and power looms they are okay more urban center based they require machines power looms are uh, far better than cotton mills and there's another component is rmg rmg is ready made garment so looking at cotton textile industry ko as a much wider scope okay uh, cotton yarns cotton mills a loom industry okay loom mein hand looms hain power looms hain plus you have got ready made garments now all these sectors are labor intensive all these are labor intensive and not high skill number 1 number 2 they are not based on localized growing of cotton they don't they, they not they don't need to be in cotton growing regions number 3 loom sector and ready made garments they are not high investment based looms and rmg they are not high investments mills are very high investments heavy machinery yeah high investments hain so by this logic by this logic the loom industries khas kar hand looms they can become the basis of backward area development aapko revive karna in fact hand looms have been neglected khadi industries they are neglected they they are in many cases gi tags okay bagru textiles patent sarees okay ye sab gamucha industries of odisha and assam mention three four names bagru in rajasthan you have got pattern 
uh, in uh, parts of Gujarat and uh, Maharashtra. You have, uh, I said, Gamucha, Gamucha in Assam and in uh, uh, Odisha. Uh, what was this? You have, uh, no, ye to loom nahi aega, but it is based on textile, so chicken curry, embroidery basically. Okay, this is Lucknow, UP. Cotton textile, hai. this is not uh, silk, is it? Okay, so I'm leaving all the silk ones. Uh, Chanderi bhi silk ho gaya na? Chanderi, ek aur jo hai, aapka scarf wala jo hai. Bandhini, Rajasthan. Four, five names are sufficient. You don't have to go too much into it. Batik prints, yes. Batik prints. Chicken curry is embroidery. Uh, typical Lucknow wala. Chik hai? So this is handlooms. Khadi, pura khadi sector. So if you look at backward area development mein, the handlooms need to be revived. Okay, they need to be okay, invested in. This is a very, very important basis of backward area development. Okay, tribal population gets involved here. But mills can't become the basis of, and power looms to some extent, but power looms may, the, the local skills are lost because ye, okay, energy intensive. Ho jata. But never the, never the problem. You can still have this person here. And now, the new sector is ready-made garments. Ready-made garments is both. Uh, domestic market and also export market based. This is one of those uh, sectors which have not been well developed in India because of uh, competitive pricing. Ready-made garments, Bangladesh, okay, ready-made garments, even Indonesia, China is a big player there. So ready-made garments, this is highly labor intensive. So we can have SEZs on this. So Noida SEZs, mein, SEZs can become basis of decentralization. Okay, so if you're looking at Cotton industries, so my conclusion here is that cotton industries in the traditional mill sector can't become the basis of decentralization. They are loss-making units. They are not competitive. They have labor problems. The traditional mill industry or mill sector cannot become the basis of backward area development. Most of them are shutting down. Mill sectors are mainly confined to parts of Western India and parts of Southern India. Okay, Handloom sectors, power looms, and RMG, ready-made garments, okay, they can become the basis of. This is a very important limitation hai that uh, they must have good connectivity with road sports for accessing the markets and uh, competitiveness in terms of price and quality. If we can do this, they become the basis of backward area. Yes, part of heritage, correct. And looms are part of heritage. So I, you could add this point here that uh, cotton, textile, RMG or handlooms, whatever, they cannot be the only basis of backward area development. So India requires, for backward area development, India requires industrial dispersion. For backward area development, India requires agriculture-based industries, including uh, food processing. Yes, in fact, that'll be a nice answer. Yeah.